Hey again, let we talk in this video about tree view and how we could display our data as a list or as number of columns. So to get started, I will use the terminal. So make sure open the terminal and then write Python 3 or maybe Python if you are using Windows. So it's Python 3. So to get started, first of all, I have to say a hey, from tk enter import start then I said again from tk enter import ttk then you know I say root equal tk the idea make me use this one because it make it easy for me to de to demonstrate everything in the list view and how it work uh, or tree view so to get started tree view let me define my tree uh, view and I name it equal ttk dot tree view in this way uh, then I will add this tree view on the root so that's mean hey I have a tree view I want to add this tree view on the root you don't see anything because I didn't did peg so I say tree view dot peg in this way up 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 peg Hey again, let me talk in this video about tree view and how we could display our data as a list or as number of columns. I would use in this video terminal so it make me make me make it easy for me to show you the tree view in details. So to get started, let me open the terminal, I write Python 3, then here he opened the Python. So first of all I say hey from TK enter uh, import the start then again from tk enter import ttk then i have the root so i say root equal tk that is then hey this is my root so first of all i need i, I need to define my tree, tree view so let me define it tv equal ttk dot tree uh, view and this, this a tree view should define this way so now i have tree view let me just add it in the paint i, I would use bake to make it hopefully bake I wrote it in the correct way yes that is so here you go this is tree view but you don't see anything you don't see any column just review and that's empty so let me add some item inside review so hey to add item inside review just I say tree t view dot insert this way so that means I'm inserting first of all I need to define the parent I don't have any parent here because there's no parent so I add, I leave it by single quotation then the second thing, what the index I want to add this element for, I don't have any element, so I first element I add in the index number zero. The third parameter is the item ID that I could access to it through the ID. So you could let me define it item one, you could give it any any ID. This is the ID. This is, then you define the text. Then said, hey, what do you need to show the text? Let me display a list of names. So first name I should say, hey, Hussein. So he should he should display for me Hussein in the list. See, here is Hussein. So if you want to define another item, so same thing, TV insert. When you want to insert it, let me suppose I want to insert it index number one. What the ID for it? So item number two. Let what the text for it? Let me suppose this should be Jenna. Okay, see, now I have two items in the list. So this is very basic idea to add item in the list. What if you want to add item the new item in the first location so let me suppose zero i want to add it so it should be item three so then the item name is Leia. so now Leia will not be added in the end if you see he add hussein jenna because hussein zero location Leia uh, jenna number one Leia should be zero so he should add Leia in the first location see here is it Leia. so this is the idea of indexing now yes you understand how we could do indexing but uh, think about it again I believe uh, if I want to define it in correct way I would say hey Hussein is the father for Leia and Jenna so Leia and Jenna should be under Hussein name is that right yes so to do that I have to move them so I have to say TV dot move what I need to move I need to move item 2 under item 1 so I say hey move item in this way item 2 move it under item 1 that's mean hey I, I I believe the parent for this element is 1 then you define the location 
I don't have anyone in this list inside Hussein, so you could give it zero. You could give it and whatever. Here you go. See now, if you open Hussein, you will see have Jenna. Let me do same thing for uh, the the third element. So I need to move Leia or the third element, which is Leia. Also move it. You could say zero in first location, or if you want to add it in the end, you could write end, or you could add one, whatever. I added it to the end. So if you see now, hey, I have Hussein, the parent node that have two child. So this is basically how you could move items between one to other. Now, what if you want to make that, uh, like you add, you want to add now a new element and the new element directory goes under Hussein. So how you would do that? You say, okay, TV dot insert. Okay, then who is the parent? I have it now. The parent I have to define it item one. Okay, I'll say, hey, item one should be my parent. Which is the index I want to add it? Whatever you want. If you want good, you add it to the end. You could add it in location zero, whenever you prefer. Then you suppose this should be item four and this should be Fana. Okay, so four, four items, hopefully. Oops, he say, hey, you have error. So looking back, because here Rana didn't have a text, so you have to say, hey, text equal Rana. Now see, here is the items, I could add them directly. So this is basic idea how you define and how we could add items inside the view. Sometimes people want when whenever the tree view start directory, the directory show the element like directory make it open. So you have to say TV dot uh, item, which item item no, this item I defined Hussein which is item one. I need item one directory loaded as open. So you just say open or call true in this way. So then that's mean hey he say he give you error he say there is error. I know what why because if I go back tv.item the item name is this one open or call tre this one single quotation doesn't have to be here see by code I make it open so I make it people could open it so this is basically how we just did all these elements let me continue and try to remove elements so what do you think about if, if I want to remove item number this item number one this should be two three four so let me remove Rana so what how, how, how could I remove it there's two way first of all if I, if I say the tree view dot uh, D touch which item I need item number four hopefully if I did correct see he remove it but you have to know detach will not remove the item completely he just hide it I could approve that by saying TV dot uh, I just move it I say move the which item I need to add move item number four I want to move it to the which, which place I want to move it to the root so I don't give it anything then I give it in location end or zero or whatever let me give it to the end so he will add it after his end so here you go see see I just have a sin because I give, I said end so he will add in the end of the list so see here is a sign here is Rana so Rana is not deleted what using the attach but to be hide it what if I want to delete it? Just I say, hey, TV dot delete. That's mean, hey, I want to delete which item? I item number in this way, item four. So that's mean, hey, I want to delete this name. So now if you just do move, it will not work. So even if you want to move it under item one, it will not work. See, he don't know it. He don't know. Hey, where, where is item four? I don't know item four because item four is deleted. So this is basic idea how you could add element inside the tree view and how we could uh, play with these elements. So let me just do more details and I want just to move Lena, uh, Jaya and Leia outside the name. So I say, hey, tv.move, I want to move item number two. I want to move it to the root in the index, whatever zero or whatever you want to add it or if you want to add, move it to the end will be better so that's mean hey I move this layer also I want to move item number three also so just add them one after another now they are represented in one column but if we want to add a new column so there here I have only one column so what if I want to add another column how I would do that second column here now I don't have any access to this column so I want to add second column really easy just tv dot 
configure hopefully i just write it correctly then i say call long a call then i give it name let me because like how many uh, maybe i send more than one column so you have to open a bracket and you give the list of the column i have only one column so i say hey h my second column name it h if you see here you don't see it here because oh, i didn't define the size for it so let me just manage this h column it doesn't have title but just it's, it's column so i would say hey tv dot column with a column which is named h i want for example the width for this column be 20 and i want also the data that added inside will be added inside this column added in, will be added in the center so i will say hey anchor a call center hopefully i write it correctly i know i did a lot of spelling mistake but yeah see now he defined the second column if you see here is the width of the co second columns too small if you don't like 20 you could define it like hey i want this to be 16 or 20. see it's just a little bit bigger so yes now what if you want to do same process for this column because now this column have to have a specific id the id that give it to the first column by python should be tv it should be hash zero so if, so if you want to modify this one you have to say tv.call one then the id for it should be hash zero this is the id then you could give it anything like i need the width for this one should be for example 18 whatever you want you could say hey i need an anchor should be center or i want it to left whatever you would like it to be here you go see he just changed it he changed the width of this column if you wanted to change it more say hey i don't like 80 i need it to 100 to be 100 he will change the first column to 100. now see i have two columns now let me talk about the header how i could change the header of this column it's really easy so for first column which is id for it hash zero just i say hey tv dot heading then i open a bracket which which column the column which has hash zero that's mean the first column i won't give it text or call names so people now this column mean name see he just show us name now I want to do the second column, which is the ID for it age. So I say, hey, TV dot heading. I want to, for this column, I want the text be inside. This should be a uh, user age, hopefully. Or you could just show only age if you don't like showing user age. So click enter here, he show you the age. Now wait, I have the names. I want to add H in front of every name I have it here. So how I could do that is not so it's not too complex. Well, the ID for this one, item one, this one, item two, item three. So really easy. For Hussein, you just say TV dot set. Well, the ID for it, item one, which is Hussein. You said, hey, I want to add in column H, which is second column. I want to add, for example, value. Um, make it as a text like 28 hopefully this works see he add he, he he what he will do here he will go and look for and he'll go and look for the first column with the item have item one so Hussein have item one then he go to look for the column name it a, a, a name it h he look for the same row and he will add this value let me continue with the second item so second item which is jenna give it two year and uh, let me continue with the third item which is layer and give it like one year okay so did you see how i just play with this and how we could i could add data for every element here so yes something really nice and how you understand how to play with it but let me do last part so when i need one someone to click on any item i i could have some traction so to get started i say hey, i would define method name it let me say i would name it a tree tree view uh, select i just call it this name it have to receive event okay because this is method so then i say hey i want when someone call this method i want to print the whatever the data that's selected here how i could get the data that's selected just i say hey tv dot selection okay tv dot selection will return for us 
the item that's selected right now so if I just say if I just select this one and I say hey TV does selection it will give me the item that's selected right now so yes I need this function will be fired when someone clicks so now I need to listen to specific event if I go to TV dot bind I want to bind this method with a specific event there is there's event name it just I open a bracket two bracket then I say tree view then capital select this is just method that already or event already been bolded with button click so I say hey this is as a whole you you don't have to think about it just make right the same thing like first character capital first character capital and same format then just you call this method when someone so whenever anyone click any element here he will call the button event and he show you the item that's selected so now nothing hopefully see he say hey you select the item zero which is he show you in this way of format if you just click item one claim one sorry one two three two or three c so whenever any item you select he will show you the item that you selected there is many 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 things you could do with tree view i just wanted to show you like how you could work with the basic things as i told you there is a lot of things you could do but this is all what i want to show you here here we done and uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next